Well, everything hangs on your bones and no matter what age you are, protecting your body through lifestyle choices, a healthy diet and physical activity should be a top priority. Dr. Joshua Grauman is the founder of Clutch Physical Therapy and has spent his career treating athletes of all levels. He joins me now to talk about ways that you can future proof your bones. Future proof, I like that. I didn't know that there was a possibility. Yeah, bones are constantly breaking down and rebuilding, so it's important to keep a certain stress level on them in order to keep them healthy and rebuilding at all times. So what's your advice? How do you keep your bones healthy and strong? Move it or lose it. Really? Absolutely. You just have to be active. Uh, general guidelines now say 30 minutes of physical activity a day is even better than strength training or gym activity 90 minutes three days a week. Really? So a little bit every day goes a long way. So does it change as you get older from when you're a kid to when you're an adult? Absolutely. So as you age, you're less resilient. So basically you need to keep stresses on your bones and keep moving so that you don't become more frail. Does it change? And what's your advice when it comes to cardio versus strength training? I'm, I'm trying to run now, but I worry about what it's going to do to my bones and my knees down the road. Absolutely. That's a very common question that you get in the clinic, too. Uh -huh. And everything in moderation, right? So a little bit of strength training and a little bit of cardio. It's not good to run every day of the week and have that repetitive stress on your bones all the time. It's not ideal to strength train every day. Mm -hmm. It's still good for your bones, but you also need the cardio for the other cardio aspects, obviously heart health and all that. So how often should people do activities, whether it's cardio or whether it's strength training to keep your bones strong? Something every day, whether it's walking around the block for 30 minutes or uh, gym activity, anything that's going to get your heart rate up and get your blood moving is going to be good. So some form of stress on your bones every day. Whether that's you know body weight squats in front of your mirror in your bathroom or going to the gym, it doesn't really matter. But 30 minutes of something you're saying is a top priority. 30 minutes. It doesn't have to be a 90 minute run. It doesn't have to be that long. Uh, I think even the benefits have been shown to reduce even to 20 minutes. So mm -hmm. if you can, there's really no excuse to not move. It's, something is always beneficial. I hear so much about women, especially the older you get, you really have to worry about your bones. Is it yes. different for men versus women? It is. So especially postmenopausal, the hormone differences make a big difference in how your body is able to rebuild bone. And it also affects what you're eating, right? So mm -hmm. how much you absorb of what you eat. So even if you're taking in more calcium, your body might not be absorbing as much of it, which leads you to be, or have an, a likelihood to be more frail as you age, especially more so for women than men. So tell me about foods. Are there any foods that are better for your bones? Obviously, anything high in calcium is good, but it really just depends on a balance of everything because if you're taking in a ton of calcium but you don't have enough vitamin D, your body won't absorb it anyway. Mm. So you'll just be getting rid of it. Mm. So it's, it's really more important to get it from a balanced source than it is to just have a lot of it. When I think calcium, I think OJ and I think milk. Yes. So fish is very high in it that's been shown uh, obviously you want vitamin D sunlight is the number one source of that right so getting outside and being active again is going to help with your bone health from that perspective as well Dr. Joshua Grauman thank you very much for joining us thanks for having me brought to you by Polident and Super Polygrip